your turn. Punished. It's okay. Be quiet. <laughs> Just look out, okay? Just a second. Alice, I thought you were on the day shift. Pie? Well, I just slipped out for a second. This arrived for you at the station. Thanks. I'll put it in the back room, then I'll get you a slice of pie. Deal? I'm kind of in a hurry. What kind? Blueberry. It's a deal. But I earned it. It's seen better days. Like a lot of us. Hey, Ness! Where's my burger? Ness! 
My burger, goddammit! God damn it, Ness! You gotta be the slowest waiter in Santa Esperanza! Okay, Dickinson. Coming right up. <laughs> anyway, they catch the deadbeat robbing the pharmacy, but the <clears throat> there's no proof, so they hand him over to me. Elliot, seriously, I don't have much time. Take your time. If Jenkins says anything, tell him it's my fault. And let him know that I'll continue to keep his agents waiting until he settles his tab. <laughs> I don't think I dare. Mm. But this is worth getting in trouble for. To think, I didn't find my true calling until I was in my fifties. And this time, go easy on the chili sauce. <gasps> Gives me indigestion. Done. Okay, I tell him, if you confess right now, I finish work on time and everybody's happy. If you don't, I have to work late. <laughs> I get mad, and I have to rearrange your face. You really said that? There you go. And listen to this, Ness. <laughs> and then I say to him, <laughs> the doctor will have to work late too, and it'll be your fault. He'll be mad. And when he's done fixing your mug, it'll be so ugly, you'll never get laid again. <laughs> He's saying, right? Yeah, like a soprano. <laughs> and you know what I did next, Ness? You went to celebrated happy dolls. Ten minutes later, you walked out of there. Ah, yeah, what the hell do you know? Anyway, the important part is I rearranged the guy's face. <laughs> sauce did you put on this thing, you goddamn maniac? Just enough to make sure you never come back here, Dickinson. Ah, screw you, Ness. Your first time here, right? I like this job, you know. Not because I like serving coffee or food. This job is about understanding people, knowing what they want, what they need. You just have to keep your eyes open. The clothes, the haircut, a little movement, a hand clutching a knife. Don't even think about it. Not because of me. At most, I'd knock out a couple of your teeth before disarming you. The guys you should be worried about are the cops at the other table. They'd keep kicking you in the ribs long after you passed out. You'd be lucky to wake up in a hospital. The question is, what do I do with you now? Buy yourself a suit, son. Get a shave, get a job, and make a man of yourself. And if you come back here looking for trouble, you'll find it. You want coffee? Mm-mm. I forgot to thank you for bringing my pension check. Well, I saved you a trip. And a headache. The station's full of Dickinsons. Your dad would be proud of you. Thanks. They're not Jenkins. Easy there, miss. Slow and steady wins the race. Hmm. If I don't get some blackberry pie this minute, I'm going to die before this day is out. Can you help me, sir? I'm afraid not. That's too bad. I need something sweet for my last day on Earth. Blueberry pie? Last slice. Hmm. You use almond extract? Quarter of a teaspoon. Which brand? I make my own.
Do I know you from someplace? Me? No. But you do know my boss. You, call your boss. I have business to settle with him. <sighs> Can't even enjoy a quiet smoke. Look, I get it. It's Christmas. You're lonely and you want to end it all. But Santa Esperanza is full of bridges. Why not throw yourself off one of them and leave me in peace? Tell Capone that Elliot Ness is here. We're going to finish this thing once and for all. Jeez, I don't get paid enough. Listen. You got it backwards. I'm not here to make my boss come out. I'm here to stop you getting in. I'll do you a deal. Do what I say, and when I've finished with your boss, I'll bury your police file in his grave. Oh yeah? Why not bury it in the same grave as your buddy Dockers? You shouldn't have brought that up. Oh no? You gonna cry now? Hey, come on. It's Christmas. At the front gate! It's Ness! Put down your weapons. You'll get a fair trial. Ugh! 
Have any last words? You come into my house? Your doorman was kind enough to let me in. You kill my men. I didn't know human beings mattered to you. Would you kill an unarmed man? You, Elliot Ness? You have my word. I'm not going to kill a man. Papa! Vittorio! Are you gonna kill me in front of my son? That stain right there is all that's left of Denunzio. One of my best men. I told him to take care of the butcher on East Main. One of the jerks who've been screwing with me for months. We had to make an example of him. Send a message to the other storekeepers. Danunzio ripped out his guts and hung him up with the merchandise. But he did it while the butcher's daughter was watching. Fucking Danunzio. There are lines that cannot be crossed. We have to protect the innocence of children. Keep them far, far away from certain experiences. Tell him to go. Vittorio stays. He's my son, not a storekeeper's child. If his father dies, at least let him know who to take his revenge on. But that's not gonna happen. Look, Vittorio. <laughs> his hand's shaking. Booze turns men into cowards. You'll be like your father. Never drink. It's funny, huh? The White Knight of the Volstead Act gets licked up to kill the King of Bootleg Booze. Relax, son. Nobody's going to kill anybody. I'd love to introduce you to a girl your age, Vittorio. Her name is Claire Dockers, and she sings like an angel. You two would get along. Two days ago, Claire's father caught up with yours in a warehouse. Your father was hitting innocent people, and that's not right. He told him to stop, but your father ignored him and pulled out a gun to shoot him. Claire's father was quicker. He drew his gun first and fired, but the bullet jammed. Your father killed Claire's father, in cold blood. He kicked him in the face so many times not even Claire herself would have recognized him. You'll never prove I killed Dacus. I know. And that's why I'm here. But now I know I'm better than you. Your father is a murderer, and Claire hasn't stopped crying these last two days all because of him. Never forget that, Vittorio. Hold it! Let him go. Run, Ness, and forget I exist! Or I'll have to report what you just did. And I do have witnesses. You hear me, nurse?
Mm -mm -mm. That's some first class pie. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. My car is parked outside. If you could join me as soon as possible, I'll be doubly grateful. Gentlemen, I'm closing up. Time to move along. So early? What are you talking about, Ness? Are you serious? I said get out. Hey, fuck you, Ness. I'm not paying you a cent. You just lost a customer. But just think what I gain in quality of life. into a boomerang. And that's how a bullet turns into a boomerang. At last, Mr. Ness. Please get in. I could swear I've seen your face before. Sure. I'm the guy you served a slice of blueberry pie to five minutes ago. Thanks for remembering me. Please get in. I can't afford for you to catch a cold. 